Tesla's insane new 9,000-ton Cybertruck Gigapress update. After months of construction, Tesla has finally revealed its massive 9,000-ton Gigapress. It is the largest of its kind in the world, and the automaker may start production of the Cybertruck, which is planned to launch in 2023. But why does Tesla need such massive machinery? And will it speed up the production of the Cybertruck? The functionality of the Gigapress Earlier this month, IDRA Group, the company responsible for building the Gigapress for Tesla, declared that it was finished manufacturing and testing the Tesla Cybertruck construction machinery. The machinery left Italy by ship and arrived in Houston, Texas on September 28. Because of the size of the machinery, it came in 54 pieces with a total of 77,526 kilograms. This relates to existing information that Idra will have to disassemble the Gigapress for delivery and have Tesla assemble it for use. The company was the first to receive production orders from Tesla for 9,000 D-ton machines that can be utilized to make SUVs and small trucks. In the beginning, the manufacturing of such a machine was deemed impossible, but now that the Italian-based company has successfully delivered the first order, Idra is confident that it can now offer more gigapresses with fairly standard delivery times. Earlier in June, the company showed a bit of the assembly process for its 9,000-ton gigapress, highlighting it as their most powerful casting machine to date. This is likely the same machine that was constructed for Tesla and showcased at the company's open house event for industry insiders and interested individuals. But this isn't the first Gigapress the company has manufactured for the automaker. Tesla scored its first 6,200-ton Gigapress to cast the lower front and rear of the Model Y at its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas from IDRA. Prior to that, the lower rear of the model was made out of 70 separate pieces assembled with the help of 300 robots. The press reduced the number of parts needed to speed up the manufacturing process and reduce cost and complexity. Tesla began implementing more casting machines at its Gigafactories and shipped its fourth press to its Texas facilities. The machine will basically print huge chunks of Cybertruck in one piece so that the vehicle can be quickly assembled. Once the die-cast machinery is assembled on the Tesla factory floor, it will go through a long process of calibration and testing. It will be used to fabricate large components of the Cybertruck by applying pressure in a die-casting process. The machine has a giant mold designed to form vehicle components and the mold will be split into two halves when melting the components. One part of the mold serves as a natural gas-powered melting furnace with a temperature of 8,500 degrees Celsius. The other half stores the liquid metal and works at 750 to 8,500 degrees Celsius. Once the press is closed, the mold halves are pressed together with 90,000 tons of force utilizing a high-speed plunger. Liquid aluminum alloy is injected into the vacuum created by the molds. The process has to be done with extreme precision and speed so that the liquid alloy fills the mold without air bubbles, voids, or anything that could infect the integrity of the component. Once it gardens, the two halves are pulled apart and lubricant is used too. They are separated and lubricant is used to easily extract the still hot components out of the mold. The robot transfers the material to the quenching tank so that it can be quickly cooled to the desired temperature. Any excess metal is trimmed away using a mechanical trim press and laser cutting, and the scrap metals can be used again for the next casting. The mold is cleaned and cooled by robots, and the process begins again. According to Musk, the 9,000-ton Gigapress is going to mold the rear body of the Cybertruck because it's a bigger vehicle and has a long truck bed to haul heavy luggage, but Tesla may be expecting more shipments from IDRA. The Gigapress is expected to be the size of a small house entirely made of solid metal, and details provided by IDRA's spreadsheet shows that the press should weigh around 600,000 kilograms when completed. What was delivered was slightly more. What was delivered was a little over 77,000 kilograms, likely indicating that it was not the final form of the Gigapress. It is possible that more parts may be delivered in steps until the final shipment is officially sent over for assembly. Tesla will start manufacturing the Cybertruck at the Gigafactory in Texas, and it will come in different variations with different pricing. The cost of the standard Cybertruck is anticipated to start around $40,000 despite long delays. The interest in the Cybertruck is still very strong, and the orders are being placed every couple of seconds after it was announced.
Bookings have slowed down a bit since it was disclosed in 2019, but there are now over a million orders for the Cybertruck, and Tesla definitely has its work cut out for them. Production of the Tesla semi-truck, the long-delayed, highly expected truck, it was scheduled to go into production and will hit the road before the end of the year. It was intended to go into production in 2019, then 2020, and pushed to 2021. Production was delayed by battery issues, supply chain shortages, and the pandemic which shut down commerce across several industries. Now that things are on order, Musk announced that the first deliveries would take place in December. The truck comes with a 500-mile range, and Musk thinks that it's a lot of fun to drive. Well, every CEO has something good to say about their product. After Tesla made the announcement on October 6th, Pepsi released a statement the following day via its Twitter accounts saying that we can confirm our first electric Tesla Semi on December 1st, 2022, supporting our Frito-Lay plant in Modesto, California, and our PepsiCo beverage plant in Sacramento. When the vehicle was first announced in 2017, it caused quite a stir in the Asia trucking industry, with orders piling up shortly after it was announced that Pepsi had joined the fray by placing a pre-order for 100 semis, making it the largest pre-15 of the semi trucks will be shipped to its Frito-Lay facilities in Modesto, California, and our PepsiCo beverages plant in Sacramento. When the vehicle was first announced in 2017, it caused an uproar in the transportation industry, with orders piling up soon after it was announced. Pepsi joined the fray by pre-ordering 100 semis, making it the largest pre-order ever made. 15 of the semis will be sent over to their Frito-Lay facilities in Modesto, California to transition into a zero-emissions factory. Tesla's semi-trucks are slated for production at a factory near its Nevada Gigafactory. It will be low volume for now, but the short-term goal is to move to Tesla Gigafactory in Texas, where mass production can start at earnest. But this doesn't mean they're going to slow down the pace. According to Musk, 50,000 units will be produced annually in 2024 in North America and another version of the smaller battery pack and 300-mile range will be produced later. He said the vehicle may be accessible to many. The Tesla Semi is anticipated to have limited functionality for its first phase of operations, and Tesla is already installing the megacharger stations for semis at the Pepsi factory site. This is a special charger capable of producing 1.5 megawatts of power that gives six times more power than a Tesla supercharger. A few images of the chargers were shared by groups of EVs, the kilowatts revealing their sleek yet enormous size. The megacharger is around 7 and 8 feet tall and will be powered by solar energy, making them environmentally friendly to use. Since Tesla is not known for meeting deadlines, Tesla semi-trucks may hit the road in the first quarter of 2023.